First thing, we give a wait command at the crate. Brody needs to be calm and wait to be released out. We stay tall and ignore him if he's too excited. Pay attention to calm behaviors like a sit. And pay attention if he gets crazy, disengage. And when you're ready, you call him over, have him sit, give him a little pat on the head. Good boy. Practice calm attention. Next, we're ready to go outside. We send Brody to his bed to put his collar on. He needs to stay calm while we're putting his collar on. And he needs to stay put on the bed until we release him off. This gets everything started nice and calm. This also gets very good focus on you. Next, we're gonna have him sit at the door. Again, this reminds him to pay attention to you. Take the energy level down before you go outside. No jumping the gun. Before we go on a walk, we get Brody settled into heel position by walking some circles. He's walking beside us on the inside of the circle. We're paying attention to where we're walking. Our shoulders are up. We have a nice relaxed body position and we're walking at a decent pace. It's Brody's job to pay attention to us. We throw in some sits and heel to keep him focused. Again, we want him focused on us and not paying attention to everything around us. So throwing in sits helps him stay focused. We're gonna stop, say the command one time and follow through. Say the command one time, follow through. Next, we're gonna work on a stay, which is simply pivoting in front while he stays put. Start practicing a stay really close to Brody, and as he gets good with that, start adding more distance. So stop, sit. If he doesn't listen, give him a little tug. Little tug, little tug, until he ha it happens. Pivot in front, let's stay. Pivot back and then heel. We're practicing these things with low distractions to get really good with the maneuvers and get Brody really good, good with the maneuvers. Sit one time, pivot in front, start adding some distance. Move around a little bit. If he gets up, he gets a correction and put right back where he was. This practices his self-control and his focus on you. Good boy. Nice calm praise when he's done a great job. And back to work. This works down Brody's physical energy as well as his mental energy and allows for a nice calm walk. Okay. 
practicing this for five to 10 minutes before you go for a walk every time you go. When he's good in this environment, you can always use these exercises to cool him down, to get him focused when you go to more distracting places. Circles with sits in the parking lot before you go anywhere. Circles with sits when you go on a field trip. This gets him started off right. So now we're gonna practice come sit. Little tugs is a reminder to follow through. Pivot in front. Stay. Back to the end of your leash. Call Birdie to you and a sit in front of you before he gets pet. Good boy. Now's a great time to love on him because he's nice and calm and focused. He has earned it. Once he's nice and calm and he's worked with you, now he's earned some time to get all of the leash and to sniff and be a dog. And he's much happier and willing to stay close to you and not tug too hard on the leash. He has earned this free time. About 75% of your walk should be under control, and about 25 is giving him free time that he earns. And now it's back to work, back to a nice controlled walk. We practice good manners at the car. He loves to get in the car, so it's a great time to practice him focusing on you, practicing a sit, and self-control. He needs to be invited into the car. And yes, he knows how to jump in. Go. Make sure he's nice and calm before you close the door. So get him settled into his spot. Good job. A wait command as you open the door so he doesn't fly out. This gives you time to grab his leash and wait to give him that release word when it's safe to exit the car. Good boy. Good job. When it's time to go back in, another sit at the door. The command one time, then follow through. If he gets up, I'm gonna put him right back. Little tug, don't repeat the command, and invite it in. We head right back to the bed to take off his leash. This gets him used to going to the bed for all kinds of good things. When we take the leash off, he needs to wait for his release word to be able to be free. Now it's time to play a little bit. While we're playing, Birdie's not allowed up on the couch. All of our excited play is gonna be on the ground. He has to sit before you throw the toy. No pushy behavior all up in your space. Good boy. Good boy. Good job. Drop. Sit. 
You know, being pushy. Ready, sit. Must to give you space before the fun begins. This is a great time to be silly Brody, but silly Brody without mouthing or pushing or jumping. And when you see his settle down, now's a good time to invite him up on the couch for a little time to snuggle. Again, he's not being pushy and all in your space. If you want him in your lap, if you want him right up close to you, you can invite him, but he doesn't decide. Okay. And when it's time to get down, he needs to listen to that as well. There's also times when you don't want Brody in your space, so you can send him to his bed to hang out there while you get other things done. Practicing time spent on his bed with little distraction will work up to a good command to send him to his bed while the kids are playing or when you just want him out of your way. So practice this a little bit every day, even if it's just five or 10 minutes. Practice moving around and doing other things while he stays put on his bed. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. If he gets up, just put him right back. He needs to wait to be released. Uh -huh. Calmly lead him back. And remember to stay calm because if he gets you excited or talking too loud, he will get excited and pushy and jumpy. So be matter of fact and just put him right back calmly. Good boy. Good boy. Don't forget to release him when you're done. Sending him to his bed to be groomed is also a great idea. He's used to coming to this spot. He knows this spot is where he has to stay while you're doing this activity. Holding on to his collar to keep his head secure while you're brushing gets a correction if he puts his mouth on the brush. Stay nice and calm. Focus on the area that you're brushing. No mouthing. Praise when he's calm. Praise when he's doing a good job in a nice calm way. He starts to get mouthy, he gets a correction. Don't move your brush. Wait till he moves his mouth away and then continue doing what you're doing.
giving him something to do while you're brushing is always a good idea. Win-win for him and you. Good job. So if he doesn't have a leash on, the same applies to sit at the door. So if you're letting him out into the yard, he needs to be released out. And again, before he comes in, reminds him to focus on you. Calm down his energy before he can come inside. Then it's time for sit for dinner. He has to sit and wait to be released for his food. Good job. Brody doesn't always like to eat his food right away. So we also tend to feed him in his crate. You take away the distractions and the options to do other things, he's more inclined to eat right away. This also keeps his food safe. 